So I got all of these Yu-Gi-Oh packs for free. And in today's video, I wanna show you guys a hack on how you guys can pick up a ton of booster packs to build your collection, build your decks for no cost. And this essentially means you're not gonna have to spend another dollar on the Yu-Gi-Oh trading card game. So let's open up these packs while I tell you guys how I got these packs for free and how you guys can do it too. Let's go. So I promised you guys that I'm not lying when I say I got all of these booster packs here for free and I want to talk about how I did it and how you guys can do it too because I think it's very important it's something that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about and don't discuss enough and how you know we can all together as a community learn how to get these kind of packs to save your money and, and really do well in this game right so the first thing I want to say is the best way to get booster packs like these especially OTS packs is going to be joining your local OTS stores and playing at local card shops right now when you do this essentially you get a pack typically on entry and so let's say you pay five dollars on your entry right so very minimal entry cost you're gonna pay five dollars and the last uh, few weeks I, I would say the last three weeks I've uh, come first place, second place, and first place again at Locals. And I'm gonna show you guys what my prizing looks like. And that's kind of what I wanna talk about because when you go to these events and you can top at these events, you guys can win these packs essentially for free. So here's when I got second place. I got three packs of Duelist Nexus and then the one OTS pack that I got for entry. And then when I came first place, one Locals, I got two packs of OTS 18. Uh, they didn't have the newest OTS pack, but I got two OTS 18. And then I got four of the Phantom Nightmare. And then another OTS, uh, I went to first place as well. So I got 224. A Phantom Nightmare and this box of Battles of Legends. So this is my first place prizing over here. This is another stack of first place prizing and this is my second place prizing. Okay, so you guys can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 packs. Actually, this has three packs, so it would be actually 16 packs. 16 packs total I won at three separate local events. So I've paid essentially $15, $5 entry, right? So $15 for total entry and let's just say each pack is five bucks so let's say 16 times 5 10 times 5 is 50 6 times 5 is 30 that's 80 dollars 80 dollars is worth a pack so 80 dollars worth of packs and i only spent 15 dollars on this so that's what i'm talking about when i say you guys can get these for free now i'm not going to open up the ots packs in today's video i kind of want to save these for another video oh by the way so in the second place locals you guys can see i only got the one ots pack this was my entry pack but then i guess uh, my locals how they do it when you come first place you get a second ots pack and more packs right so that's just kind of how they do it but yeah, I'm not going to be opening these up today because I want to save these for another YouTube video. So all these OTS packs, like I said, you get them for free or you get them on entry. So essentially, let's say you, you pay for locals. This is what you're paying for, right? So let's discount these five packs. I'm not going to be opening them up, like I said, in today's video, because I, I really want to just open up these packs. I want to save my OTS packs for another video. But uh, I want to talk to you guys about that because it's going to sound easier said than done, right? Honestly, the truth is, while I open this up, I'm going to be talking to you guys because the truth is, it sounds easier than said than done, right? Coming first place, coming second place at your locals, uh, winning these kind of prizing. It's, it, it is a lot easier said than done. And honestly, I don't know why I'm doing this. Let me just use this. Boom, easy money. Okay, now we can get into it. So, uh, yeah, it, it is a lot easier said than done, if I'm being honest with you. It's not like you're going to go first place or second place at every single locals you go to. Every locals is also different, right? My locals specifically, anyone who comes X1 or above is going to get prizing. So even if you're second or third place or fourth place, you guys are all going to get the same prizing as long as you go X1. And then XO, of course, is going to get the most prizing because they're going to come first place, right? And so if you go to these kind of locals where they do structure their prizing like that, essentially, all you need to do is... Top, top four, I guess, or go X1. And again, all I would say, and this is my suggestion, virtually what I've been doing is I've been doing this all with Kashira, right? I've been playing Kashira pretty religiously. I know lead just came out. I don't have any lead packs because these locals that I went to was pre-lead. But, um, you know, I've been playing Kashira and Kashira is a deck that, you know, I spent... I think like 120 bucks on a while ago. Like I got it a while ago, right? Like 120 bucks on. And I've been going to locals again and again and again. And when you keep topping at these locals with the deck, it's a, it's essentially just a one-time fee, like to enter the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I spent 120 bucks on Kashira. And especially with the rarity collection and stuff now. Um, oh, there are only two packs, not three. But yeah, especially with the rarity collection and stuff now, the actual singles for staples, we got the uh, big guy die over here, but the actual singles are a lot more affordable. So when you pick up, let's say a deck for 120, 20 bucks yes it sounds like okay you have to spend 120 bucks but that's just a one-time like initiation fee and then if you're able to top here and there you're able to build up the bunch of these packs you open them up who knows you hit a qcr you hit a secret rare and that's where a lot of the money is going to come in that's how you guys can build your trade binders or if you guys are not big fans of trade binders essentially the cards that you pull you can either trade them back to stores for store credit which you can then use to buy more cards or more packs or you guys can trade them off with friends there's just so many different things you guys can do and uh, we got a bls as our promo by the way 
not the best promo honestly i really wanted the stratos but you know what for some reason no matter how much i open this set i cannot hit the stratos but let's let's get into these packs now while i continue talking kind of about how uh, let's go into dune but let's uh you know while i continue talking about this so essentially i know i'm gonna get a lot of comments saying like oh but what if i go to locals like three times in a row and i don't top you know then there's my 15 dollars gone Yes, I understand that is definitely a real thing and that is definitely a real concern. However, what I will say as a counter argument is when you are playing, oh, Shavar, oh, wait, Yama's in this, right? Yama would be sick. Not Yama though, Banshee Triple. Um, yeah, so, you know, you can go to these locals and you really want to be as competitive as possible. I understand that it's not always that you guys, you guys are going to top at every single locals. I don't top every single locals, I'm going to be honest with you guys. But when you do top, you really want to take advantage as much as possible of, you know, when when you do, when you do, that makes sense. You want to take as much as possible advantage of topping and the prizing that you get for it. On top of that, there are situations, ooh, ooh, Beast Wing, Bird from it. Okay, I know these cards are getting a little bit hyped now, so, uh, you know, the illusion cards are pretty cool. But um, yeah, so here's the thing, right? If you go to locals and you open an OTS pack, let's say, right? Let's say, let's say you get an OTS, one of these OTS packs as, as in your entry, right? What's an OTS 20? I can't remember what's OTS 24 again. OTS 24 Altis, I can't remember, but I think 18 has a Zeus, I think. Okay, so let's just say you get an OTS 18 uh, as your entry pack like I did, right? You open that pack up, you get a Zeus, you get an ulti Zeus. So you, it, it's one of those things where it's funny. I know it's, it's, it's kind of like, honestly, it is kind of like RNG, don't get me wrong. It's not guaranteed or anything, but you know, you go to an OTS and um, you open an OTS pack, you know, you could come last place and pull an ulti. And if you're pulling that ulti, you're making some money back. You got the Stalos, the Shia, Shadow Fire Monarch. Wow, Dune was not nice to us whatsoever. We did not hit anything on those three packs. But yeah, so you guys can see, look, I got three packs. I didn't really hit anything crazy in them. That's fine. It happens. But then sometimes you get two packs and you hit back-to-back -back secret rares. You hit a QCR. You hit, you know, there's so many different options, right? And so in today's video, like that's, that's kind of why I, I honestly... I just wanted to do a pack opening and have a good time with you guys. But I wanted to talk about how you guys can do it too, you know, because I always hear people talking about how expensive Yu-Gi-Oh is. Oh, Awakening of Vados Ultra Rare. This is what I'm talking about. You guys can get good cards like this one, right? This is a deck like Ashen is a deck I'm not probably going to be playing. So this is something where I can use to build up my trade binder, right? So now in the future, if I do want to pick up, let's just say, what's another, what's another deck? Yubel, right? I have Yubel cards, let's say, but I just thought of Yubel because right here. If I want to like pick up a Yubel deck and someone wants to play Ashen, I can now use these Ashen cards to trade for my Ubel cards and essentially not costing many, um, any, me any money, right? So that, that's kind of my mindset with things. And I know it is a little bit of RNG. It is a little bit of you wanting to get better as well. A Rosalina here is a super rare. Uh, if you want to get better at the game and you really want to, you know, make the financial burden of this game as little as possible, let's go into Battle Legend now. But if you want to make the financial burden as little as possible with this game, that's essentially what you have to do. Uh, and, and you know, I don't want to say it's unfortunate because I feel like any game that you play, whether it's a TCG, whether it's a, what's a video game or whatever, if you want to get better or if you want to get prizing and, 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 you know, make the financial burden less, you really do have to get better at the game. And I think that applies to TCGs and Yu-Gi-Oh as well, right? So uh, we got a Security Dragon as an Ultra Rare. That's not a great one, I'm going to be honest, though. I don't think that was a great one. But I actually want a Malicious from here. That would be really good. Oh, Cyber Dragon over here as a Silver Rare. And I think we'll get one more. Minerva as well. Minerva is a cool one, especially with all the Lights 1 support. Minerva is a really nice one over here. Not mad with that one. But uh, yeah, so again, like I'm saying, you just take a little bit of time. Invest initially in into one deck that you guys feel like you guys are going to have success with and enjoy playing on top of that, right? It's not just have success with. You really want to enjoy the game as well. And so for me, again, for me, I love Kashira. Kashira has been a deck that I've fallen in love with since it came out. And so, I, I I mean, I got lucky that, you know, I got it at a decent price. I got it after all the bans and all the hits anyway, right? But I got it. I've been able to be successful with it. This is not a great ultra rare, I'll be honest with you, but Flying Elephant. I've been able to get successful with it. And then when you are, you know, when you do have a good time, when you are successful with these decks, Cumongous over here is a rare. And then Bruh. we got another Flying Elephant, bro. The double ups are nuts. The double ups are nuts. Um, But yeah, when you are successful with it, when you do have a good time with it, that's, that's really all that matters, right? Because at the end of the day, again 15 bucks to do this pack opening you know enjoy some cards that i've pulled like i you know again i haven't pulled anything crazy just yet we still got more packs to go and the more locals you go to the more packs you open the more packs you open the higher chances you guys are gonna get something good right so it's just one of those things it's a game of odds right it's a game of odds at the end of the day and i know i'm just rambling right now uh oh ash another ashen card okay 
Let's see if we can, uh, I really want, I haven't pulled a QCR, bro, in so long. Actually, I don't think, no, I, I have, I have. Phantom Nightmare, I pulled a, what QCR did I pull? I pulled the Pac-Bit one. I think I pulled the Pac-Bit one, and I pulled the uh, level three guy. Let's see if we can pull one more QCR. Or, or just anything good, even an ultra rare. Or a secret rare would be nice. To be honest, anything would be nice at this point. We got some Magic Spectre Yamarashi. Okay, that's not bad. Magic Spectres are cool cards. Um, but yeah, again, all in all, the, the, the whole point of this conversation and the whole point of this opening is just to show you guys that, yes, I understand that this game can be, you know, somewhat expensive. It's definitely something that I acknowledge and it's definitely something that I feel like is very much talked about in the community. But you, you can do things to take off a little bit of that financial burden. Again, in making one initial investment, I think the next card is a super rare. So let's... Uh, I think it's the next card. If it's not, that's going to be really embarrassing. But uh, yeah, you can do an initial investment, you know, whether it's like, let's say your budget is 100 bucks, 150 bucks. You you know, you do an initial investment in a, in, a, in a decent deck. And then from there, you just do everything you can to keep building on that deck, right? Whether you whether your locals gives away store credit, whether they give away booster packs, whatever they give away, you're going to be able to do that. And, and that's the best part about this game. So let's end it off here. I think this is the last pack with a Goblin Biker Mean Merciless. Okay, so... While I was talking to you guys, I guess um, that wasn't even the best showcase of what you guys could get with your packs because I got a bunch of supers. I don't think I got anything too crazy. I get the I get the uh, Awakened, which is kind of nice. Awakening is kind of cool. And then I think the Minerva, the Cyber Dragon, the Cumongous, those were kind of cool pulls as well. Uh, Flying Elephant is definitely something that uh, I wish it was any other card. But long story short, guys, I, I thank you guys for watching all this video. Thank you guys for supporting me through the channel for, for all this time. I, I love how much of the channel's been growing. I love doing this content for you guys. And I really love having these kind of discussions with you guys. You know, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, how you guys feel about what I was talking about today. I understand it's something that, again, is easier said than done. Just, hey, go to your locals and top, man. Go get first place. Go get second place every time. And, you know, you're never going to have to worry about it. That's, you know, I understand it's deeper than that. I, I get it that it's deeper than that. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And, uh, uh, yeah that's that's really all i gotta say i appreciate you guys i wouldn't be here without you guys that's the truth and you know the fact that i'm able to do this the fact that i'm able to go to these events these locals top it's just such a blessing right and i really appreciate you guys i appreciate everyone for for supporting me through all this so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that spanko signing out peace